Jesus said. He said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, that's all of us. That's all of us. Jesus then said, I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. <coughs> Jesus is our great physician. And one way that the Lord Jesus brings healing to the sick, spiritually and physically sick, is through mercy, demonstrating mercy. And we are so glad to be a church that's involved in Stephen ministry named after the great deacon Stephen in the book of Acts, showing mercy to people. These who are down on the floor have already been serving as our Stephen ministers after 50 hours of training. Now Steve and Barbara and Kathy and Linda have gone through 50 hours of training. And uh, we're thankful to Marge and to Joanne and Paul and others who have assisted in their training. And so what we want to do today is simply commission you, set you apart, and uh, praise God for what he's done in you already and giving you hearts of mercy to show to others. And you know, part of the Stephen <coughs> ministry that I like is not only do we equip people to show mercy, but it means that you and I need to have antenna to be aware of those who need to be shown mercy. And that may even include some of you who might say, you know, I could use a Stephen minister. And a num number of you have been doing that quietly and everything is kept quiet, but I'm happy about that side of the ministry. So if you have any questions, now you know who to come and talk to. So Joanne, do we have something to give to them? Do to actually commission them is to lead you in prayer. So would you make this your quiet prayer as I lead us in prayer for our new Stephen ministers. Let's pray. Our loving God, as your chosen people, holy and dearly loved by you, we ask for your guidance and your blessing on our Stephen ministry here at Marco. We pray for our Stephen leaders you would give to them hearts of compassion, kindness, humility, insight, gentleness, and patience. Guide them in their learning and uphold them through the joys and the challenges of ministering to others. We pray also, Father, that people in our congregation who likewise have these gifts and abilities, may you move them by your spirit to come forward to learn and serve in this vital ministry. And then would you help each one of us during the difficult times in our own lives that we would recognize our need to receive care from others and be humble enough to receive your care through the brothers and sisters that we have in this congregation. As together we participate in Stephen ministry, help us remember that all that we need to serve you comes from you, the God who is love, who's loved us and gives us love. Give us harmony in the midst of our diversity. And whatever we do, Father, in word or in deed, Will you help us to do it all in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God our Father through him. 
It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I think it would be appropriate to put our hands together for these.